fans, we just finished the first game of the series versus the Charleston River Dogs. We're legends again. We're unfortunately able to pull off the win. We lost tonight 10 to 9 in 11 innings. We had some free baseball here tonight. It was an urban active Thursday Thursday. The 1972 Olympic men's basketball team was also here. We got to recognize them. If you weren't here tonight, take a look at what you missed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks to the Lexington Legends for having our group here tonight. Forty years ago, the United States Olympic basketball team played the Soviet Union for the gold medal in Munich, Germany. The United States won that game 50 to 49. But because of some of the worst officiating and scorekeeping decisions in basketball history, they were robbed of that game and decided to decline the silver medal as a matter of principle. And for 40 years, they have stuck to that decision. Please welcome the 1972 United States Olympic basketball team. I'm now going to introduce them one by one. A player who made the team and went all the way through the training camp but was unfortunately injured right as the team was getting ready to go to Munich from Missouri, John Brown. <laughs> Assistant coach from Penn State University, Mr. John Bach. From St. Joseph University, now a top official in the National Basketball Association, Mike Bannum. From the University of Minnesota, Jim Brewer. From North Carolina State, Tom Burleson. From Georgetown College in Kentucky, team captain Kenny Davis. From the University of Hawaii, Tom Henderson. From North Carolina, Mr. Bobby Jones. From the University of Houston, the team's leading scorer, Dwight Jones. From South Carolina, Kevin Joyce. From the University of Texas, El Paso, Mr. Jim Forbes. And from Long Beach State University, Ed Ratliff. Two members of the team, Doug Collins and Tom McMillan, are en route and will be here in just a couple of hours. Please welcome the 1972 U.S. Olympic team, and let's hear it. USA! 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 Again, thank you, Mr. Billy Reed, and thank you to the 1972 Olympic basketball team. Now, let's run in the 
Hey, Legends fans, it's McDonald's Pounder Play of the Game, brought to you by the Double Quarter Pounder and the Quarter Pounder with Cheese. Pound one today. Switch hitter batting left-handed. He's very fast on the infield grounder. He's got a chance. Here's a ground ball left side, and that one is stopped by the shortstop. A big wide turn by Gominski at third, and the shortstop Culver makes the tag. And they're ruling him safe. And now Culver wants to know how could he possibly be safe. Here's the manager out, Mendez. And Kaminsky made a wide turn at third. He rounded third, but he didn't know. I don't think that Culver had stopped the ball. Culver fielded the ball at deep short, ran straight to Kaminsky and tagged him. And the ruling is that he's safe at third. And Carlos Mendez can't believe it. He, it's a very animated discussion in the infield. But it looks like that the call will stand, and Kaminsky will be safe at third, and Sosa safe at second. I have no explanation. He ran right at him. He touched him with the glove. Uh, and the manager, I think, been ejected from the game. He's headed back to the dugout now. Not that you need reminded, but tickets again are five dollars for the rest of the homestand tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Tomorrow is a Ford Fireworks night, so make sure you come on out to that as the Legends try and take a game from the Charleston River Dogs. We'll see you here tomorrow at Whitaker Bank Ballpark.